Well, what do you know? Chelsea are in the news for another winger. Somerville from Leeds United that really is kind of questionable but at the same time does make sense for Chelsea to go for this player and not just because he's 22 years of age because we all know that the board absolutely loves bringing in young squad players that they can redeem more money later down in the future but really Somerville we are going to talk about why he makes a good choice not just for Enzo Maretzka but for Chelsea in general because what this player actually brings, again, is some very high quality of goal scoring. Now, yes, you could argue that being in the championship last year with Leeds United, scoring, I believe, 20 goals in 48 matches, which is still fairly good, let's be real here, for a Leeds side that is not very good. Let's be real here. Yes, they were in the playoff contention at Southampton, but they did end up losing 1-0. But he was in the Premier League the season before when Leeds did get relegated. And I would say he was one of the shining stars in a very very terrible lead side and the fact that he was able to even shine in that squad already shows you his value now it looks like he's right around 30 million which isn't that bad for a player if you're thinking about what currently the board has been doing at Chelsea buying a lot of these younger players and trying to get them for long contracts for about five plus years 30 million is a drop in the bucket for this because when you look at all the other players we spent a lot of money on to have him come for 30 million and possibly push Mudrick and Sterling on that left side and possibly even Nico Jackson which I do think he'd be the best option right now is Nico Jackson but Somerville has the capability of playing on that left side and cutting in and hitting a shot with his right foot which we do know that Enzo Maretzka does want to see with those players out on those wings when we're trying to open up the pitch itself and this is why it makes total sense because not only can Raheem Sterling do that Mudrick can do it as well but you need a player that can go back and forth with transition. Now, I would argue that Mudrik is better defensively than Raheem Sterling, and that's the fact that Raheem Sterling barely ever really tackles or makes any run backs. I feel like whenever he loses the ball or we lose possession, he kind of just slowly comes back, which that could be due to age, due to ego. I don't know exactly what's going on in his head. I don't think anyone does. But Somerville is a guy that will track back and win balls back for us. He will put some pressure on the defenders as well. And therefore, again, this is going to allow us to really work with Enzo Maretzka's play style, but also to win the ball back in really threatening positions. Now, I do say that Mudra can do that as well, but that is relying on his pace, not saying he's the best defender, which when you're looking at a left wing, right wing, you're not usually talking about their defensive skills, but still, we need guys that can really come back, help out our left side, especially when we do rotate our right back into that midfield. That does create a little bit of a gap in our defensive um, defense uh, areas back there. And therefore, again, we need a guy that can track back and help out in that midfield, but also helping our left CB, whether that's Cowell, Shield, or who else we bring in. Somerville makes sense, which, again, I wouldn't think that going into this summer that he'd be one of the players that I'd be thinking about. But at the same time, I wasn't thinking about even having Enzo Maretzka as a manager. I thought Pochettino made the most sense, but that's a whole different topic. That Somerville 30 million really makes sense. Now, I do want to know, though, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good signing for Chelsea if they go this route? Do you think we'll have to obviously sell some players as well on that left side, whether it's Raheem Sterling, who's on a high wages, so I highly doubt he leaves anytime soon, and Mudrik that we signed for such a long period as well, I highly doubt he's leaving. So there's going to be three players competing for that position. Now, with Chelsea's history and injuries, that might be a good idea to have three players in that position. We do also have Conference League while well, we have the play-ins into the Conference League, but we should win that match. And therefore, again, we're going to have more matches that we're going to have to rotate the squad. And therefore, if we do pick up some injuries, it would make sense to have at least three players there to play in that position to get some rotation. But also, again, to have that competing role for a starting 11 because we do know from Chelsea history and from other clubs as well, when you have multiple players trying to one-up each other in a different position, it really leads to a better squad because guys know there's someone right behind them that are just itching to get in, not just to come on as a sub, but to start a match and show their worth. And I believe Somerville is going to be one of those guys that's going to push Mudrick and Sterling even more, which is obviously a good thing if we get that from this player because Mudrick, I think, still has the capability of being a very good player in the Premier League with his pace 
if he's able to make some of these runs that we are know he's going to be getting and seeing and if hopefully Enzo can start making those passes to him, this again is going to be a very dynamic side that can score from the left side, right side, right down the middle, and also hold possession to really kill games out and therefore again give us the potential to be one of the better teams this upcoming season. And again, Somerville coming in makes sense, which really doesn't make sense at the same time, but it is what it is. So that is all I have for you today in this video. If you did enjoy this video, I greatly appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe down below. It really helps me out. Get this video to more and more people for yourself. And if you do want to also join our membership, I have that. No pressure at all, but it is there. It gives your comment a little bit of a comment link so everyone can see it above everyone else. So that is a cool thing. That again is an option for you, but if not, just hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that, and I will see you in our next video.